This is a tutorial on Navisworks interface and kind of how to operate some of the templates and things like that and where things go. So up here we have a applications menu or applications button. We can press on that. We have some options in here. This option, if we press on that, it pulls out a, a option editor window or dialog box where we can do up do a lot of things. If we come in here and do an open, we get a, a, a file dialog box, a, a file explorer where we can kind of drill and go drill into a folder and find the files we want to open. X uh, this. The typical interface of most Autodesk products is we kind of have a ribbon up here and then a lot of tabs with all the different buttons on it. So these these would be the tabs that I'm selecting on. So home, viewpoint, review. For example, if I come to home, we've got a select and search panel. And we've got, we press the button, we've got options to select that. We can do select, you know, select all. And a lot of all the tabs are kind of set up that way except for the animations one that has some other options with playback and some of your times and your drop down with drilling into your different uh, animations and stuff but if we come back to home we can see that there's also some added stuff so we can see a fly down of the you know like an extension on the button so some button extensions and we can do like a select box a select box so if we want to do something like that so there's a number of buttons that have that so for example this one has perspective and orthographic in their uh, button extension over here in realism it has some options lighting and then mode back to the home uh, tab over here in the select and search panel there's actually a fly out and that gives you even more options that pertain to that specific panel. So, for example, this is selecting items. We have some different options for selecting. So, if we want to do, let's say, um, file, you can see when I come out here, oh, I'm going to change this back to select. If I select it, it'll select the entire file. So, it gives you some options some extended options. If we look at viewpoint, there's some other ones like uh, your camera view, kind of where we're sitting. You can see it's updating while I'm moving around. Navigate has some options with the uh, speeds, so you can do that. So be aware of that. There's there's extra options in there. We also have this, which prompts us a little a window that can be docked and undocked. So these are say viewpoints window. And there's a number of them across the screen. So we can have ones that are docked in there and kind of hidden. And we just show the names. So like this is the Clash Detective portion. I can press this. And then I have it here. I can pin it. So it kind of becomes an extension of the screen. And then this moves over. And I can also grab it and then move it around. And then these little things here, the snapping um, boxes, we can move them. And it will give us a preview of what it's going to look like. And then we can come up here and it actually is showing us what it looks like. So, and you can see a bit of the functionality here is, you know, for example, if we have something like this open over here, let's pin this. So we have it docked up here, and we can see kind of what it's consuming. If uh, we come down here, we can see the preview windows. Now we're going to move these up, and then dock it in that that fashion. That gives us a little bit more room. So play around with it and kind of see what you you want to do. These are more or less these are kind of called windows, and you can open and close them by coming up here. And you know, for example, if I close the Clash Detective. Opening it, I can also come over here and press an X, reopen it. One nice thing is, is over here we have a 
in the um, view tab over here on the workspace panel we can drop down and see that we can turn on and off those windows as well there's a number of them down here too and I'm gonna get this out of the way um, and that's uh, one more quick thing too is if you so I'm gonna pull this off if you have it you can see here if you 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 kind of place it over there it's not it's not pinned so it's not really in a location where it can get pinned so if you actually come over here move it there you can now pin it on this side so that you can move your clash um, from here to there kind of just move your interface the way that you would like it and there's also some ways to load in some uh, interfaces so we have a Navis work standards I have some interfaces that I created myself uh, a, a minimal we have a test workspace Navis that I created that test one and this one so ignore those two we've got standard extended and, and minimal and then safe mode and then we've got some options for more and I think that kind of hosts uh, where your other ones are I don't think there's uh, any more default Navis works ones I could be wrong but anyway after you kind of move around your windows mess with some of your panels you can't you can't do much with tabs I mean you can move them around configure them but that's about it um, can't drag them off or do something like that so you can move them around and kind of get what you can you know something configured to what you use the most maybe you know have their review viewpoint and then you know you could right click up here and say remove the uh, uh, animations tab because we don't use it very often and then we can turn off in this panel we can we can I mean we can in this tab we can turn off different panels you know for example if we don't want grids levels because we don't ever mess with that button so there's a lot of configuration you can do and then you can save that workspace it's gonna browse out to this workspaces um, area where it's gonna pull all your your workspaces that you created so that when you open up the load workspace it, it pulls from this in another location so this is kind of where you would save them um, definitely pick wherever you you know best suits if you want to make a, a a standard template one then then save it maybe in a different location and kind of have it browse to, to that spot hopefully this helps you set up your interface and your uh, you know makes your workflows a little bit more efficient and effective I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot